Hello students and everyone who's watching this video. You are good at memorizing if you still remember my previous video lesson that was focused on the altitude as one of the factors that affect the climate of an area. So there are many factors that I need to discuss with you and that will be our topic for this video lesson. The entire video lesson is focused on the remaining factors that affect the climate of an area, such as latitude, surrounding bodies of water, topography, and ocean currents. So students and everyone, Get ready and let's start now with our activities. One factor that affects the climate of the place is latitude. I'll show you some pictures and you're going to identify what are these all about. You can identify these pictures by rearranging the jumbled letters. latitude, you are correct! Let's have an activity which is entitled, When the Sun's Rays Strike. Now, you're going to answer the following questions based on the given picture. Question number one. How much is the tilt of the Earth's axis? The answer is the earth is tilted 23.5 degree. Question number two. Which part of the earth receives most of the sun's rays? The answer is, it is the equator that receives most of the sun's rays. Question number three. Why does the amount of heat received by places far from the equator become less? The answer is, it is due to the tilting of the Earth's axis and the shape of the Earth. Question number four. Why are the coldest places on Earth found near the poles? The answer is, places found near the poles are the coldest because they receive less amount of heat. Question number five. Why are places with high temperature found at the equator? <laughs> The answer is due to the tilting of the Earth's axis, places near the equator receive more heat, making the air temperature higher. The last question is how does latitude affect climate? <laughs> The 
answer is when the place is farther from the equator, the air temperature becomes lower, resulting in cold climate. On the other hand, when the place is closer to the equator, the air temperature becomes higher, resulting in warm climate. Hello learners and everyone, please keep this in your mind. The air temperature is lower if the place is farther from the equator. These places have been experiencing cold climate such as Alaska, Russia, Canada, Norway, Denmark, Lithuania, and etc. On the other hand, the air temperature is higher if the place is closer to the equator. These places have been experiencing warm climate such as Philippines, Indonesia, Kenya, Somalia, Colombia, and etc. Hence, the relationship between latitude and air temperature is inversely proportional. The closer the latitude to the equator, the higher the air temperature, the warmer the places located in it. And the farther the latitude to the equator or closer to the poles, the lower the air temperature, the colder the places located in it because it receives less amount of sun's rays due to the angle of sunlight becomes smaller. One factor that affects the climate of the place is the surrounding bodies of water. I'll show you some pictures and you're going to identify what are these all about. If you answered bodies of water, you are correct! These are all different bodies of water. Now, let's have an activity which is entitled, Which Cools and Heats Faster? Now, you are going to answer the following questions based on the data in the table. So we have here the temperature readings in heating and cooling the soil and the water. Question number one. What are the initial temperatures of soil and water? The answer is their initial temperatures are both 0 degrees Celsius. Question number 2. What is the difference between the temperature of soil and water after 6 minutes? The answer is... After 6 minutes, the temperature of soil is 60 degrees Celsius while the temperature of soil is 30 degrees Celsius. Question number 3. 
which heats up faster, soil or water. <laughs> Based on the time interval, the temperature of soil rises faster than water. Question number four. What happens to the temperatures of water and soil after these are being removed from the tripod? <laughs> The answer is, the temperatures become lower. Question number five. Which cools faster, water or soil? The answer is, Based on the same time interval, the temperature of soil cools faster than water. Question number six. How does a body of water regulate the temperature of a certain region or country? <laughs> The answer is, a body of water circulates the warm air in cold air. It absorbs more heat and can slowly release heat, making the change in temperature of a country moderate. The last question is, why do some areas that are far from bodies of water have extreme climates? The answer is because there are no bodies of water that will moderate the change in temperature in the location. Hello learners and everyone, please keep this in your mind. The climate of the place is affected by the surrounding bodies of water. Soil absorbs heat faster than water. At the same time, the soil releases heat faster than water. Places that are near the oceans have moderate climate as the body of water regulates the temperature. During daytime, the land breeze is felt when the warm air flows from land to sea because the air temperature above the sea is lower than above the ground. Thus, the rise of temperature above land would be moderated. During nighttime, the sea breeze is felt when the warm air flows from sea to land because the air temperature above the ground is lower than above the sea. Thus, the drop in air temperature above the ground would be moderated. Places or areas that are far from the bodies of water have extreme climates because there are no available bodies of water that will help to circulate the movement of warm and cold air. <laughs>